outside and the lighting this light is not gonna be enough for this room so tonight I'm gonna be um, doing a decluttering video I have lost weight and so I need to get rid of some clothes I've kind of been just like throwing them over here into a pile so I need to go through those I want to put them on Poshmark and then I was like okay I just need to go through everything like bags everything like all the things, shoes, and then I was like, maybe I'll go through the kids stuff, we'll see. It's funny because I have a lot of new items because I had lost weight already and then I lost weight again. So like, I don't know, it's great, right? But like, I gotta get rid of this stuff because it looks like I have all these clothes, but I actually don't, they don't fit. And then I wanna like tidy up a little bit in here and I really would like to get some things on the walls, but I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight. The goal for today is decluttering and then I have this bin I need to get declutter this stuff basically just declutter hey guys thanks for joining me for another video i feel like today is just gonna be getting stuff done things getting things checked off my to-do list which is just i don't know the story of my life i feel like i live for to-do lists and not because i want to but because i have to <laughs> it's like i can't keep up with the amount of things i have going on right now it's wild between clients that I have that I do social media for or myself that I'm doing social media for or all of the you know just things that I'm going through at this point in my life things with my apartment things with I don't know just all the things a million things right it's always something I guess that's just how it is to be an adult it's always something but you know what we're gonna stay positive and it's gonna be a good life right Now that the bed is made, I can focus. Cause I'm like, if I'm gonna be putting clothes on my bed, it can't be an unmade bed, you know what I mean? So now I'm just gonna be going through, like I said in the beginning, I am mainly getting rid of clothes because they don't fit. Um, I did a lot of decluttering when I moved out of my house last year. And so, I mean, I got rid of an insane amount of clothes that I just didn't really love anymore. I've been trying to be more picky with the things that I bring into my closet. Like I want to love it, not just kind of like it. So for the majority of the time, I try to stick to that, but it's weird because I feel like I've been having to buy more clothes, but in my head, I'm like, I shouldn't be spending money. But at the same time, I have to have clothes to wear that fit. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I went to like a, what is it called? Like a winery or like a vineyard. I don't know what it's called with a friend. And I wore these jeans and the whole time they just kept getting looser and looser and looser. <laughs> and I took a picture and it's like, they're full on. They just legitimately do not fit. I don't know if you follow me over on Instagram, but I'll try to find the picture and pop it in, but it's kind of funny. And yeah, the point is I literally, have to get new clothes. I would wear these same old clothes for forever, but for the sake of my pants not falling off in public, you know, gotta buy new clothes. Also, I closed down my Poshmark or I like put my Poshmark on pause, I think back in December. I don't know if it was December, maybe it was after December. Anyways, I just reopened it once I made this video and posted everything on Poshmark because there's, I'm, I, I'm kind of picky with what I put on there. I don't want to just put like junky clothes. So if it's like faded or old or isn't cute or things like that, I just give it to Goodwill. But Everything that I post on my Poshmark is like, I think better quality or not used very much or more like in style right now. Like um, in the end you'll see, but 
I get rid of a few pairs of cargo jeans, cargo jeans, cargo pant jeans, you know, those are like really in style right now. And I've only worn them like maybe a couple times. I shouldn't have bought them, but oh well, I did because I needed, <laughs> I needed new pants because I had sized down from the other size. Anyways, why do I feel like I have to explain why I'm buying jeans? It's not even that many pairs, but there's a couple pairs up there on my Poshmark. You should go check them out if you're in the market and if you're my size. Okay. So I always start out with a white background. So I usually just use like a blanket or a sheet or anything that's white. Cause I feel like if you brighten up the photo just a tiny bit, it looks very crisp and clean and white is good because you know it doesn't um clash with any prints or colors or things like that so that's just kind of my go-to now i normally will do the ring light plus natural light i don't like doing just the ring light however sometimes you can't be too perfectionistic or else it's never going to get done so done is better than perfect right right done is better than perfect done is better what is that phrase can you guys tell me i don't remember Anyways, um, oh, and one thing I do like to do when I sell shoes is show the bottom of the shoes. Oh, I'm just showing you how the photos came out. So I do try to put it on portrait mode because it makes the background blurred and you can't really tell like, oh, she's taking this on the bed with just a white blanket. Like it looks a little bit nicer with portrait mode and then brightening it up just a little bit. These are my scrubs actually from when I worked at the med spa. Um, I don't know if I really talked about that that much on YouTube. I know I talked about it on Instagram, but yeah, I worked at a med spa for a little bit doing their social media and marketing along with the dentist right down the hall. Super fun. I learned so much stuff, not only about social media, like it really challenged my skills, but I also learned a lot about med spa services and even like dental services, cosmetic, um, like cosmetic dent, cosmetic dentistry. Both of them were very interesting to me. I actually really enjoyed working at the med spa because I got to learn all this kind of stuff about like laser facials and Xeomin and Botox and filler and just like, I didn't even know these things existed out there, you know? So it was very fun for me. Um, but anyways, that was a tangent based off of the fact that I was folding my scrubs. Well, those scrubs are now up on my Poshmark. <laughs> I'm gonna be going to the Goodwill bins with my friend Emma. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Goodwill bins, but I did a reel on it a while ago, but I think I actually privated it at some point. I think, I could be wrong. But anyways, the Goodwill bins are really cool if you've never heard of them. It's basically where everything from Goodwill goes to die, I think, I don't know, but they bring everything out in these huge blue bins and they roll it out and everyone's very aggressive because everyone's there to purchase things and rese resell them. Um, that's just like what everyone does for a living there. And so I went once and I loved it. I thought it was the coolest experience. I grew up shopping at thrift stores. We didn't have a lot of money growing up. So that kind of stuff does not weird me out at all. As long as I wash my hands afterwards and as long as I don't see like chonies or poop, we're good to go. So yeah, next week I think I'm gonna be going with Emma. I'll definitely vlog it and post that and then I'm gonna be putting all those things on Poshmark. So you can get some really amazing things. The great thing about Goodwill bins mainly is that you buy things based off of weight and not per item. So I, gosh, I'm trying to remember the price. It's like, I wanna say, gosh, what was it? 30 cents a pound? Is that right? That can't be right. I don't remember. I'll have to show you guys next week when I go. I've been enjoying posting more frequently here on YouTube. 
doing more like long form videos, even though it's not even that much, but I think I've been getting about once a week a video up. So it's funny, I was just listening listening to a podcast and they were talking about um, kind of like letting the perfectionism go with editing and just getting more videos up. And I really like the idea of that, even though I like editing things to be fun and choppy and like really cool. But at the same time, I also just like posting videos and connecting with people and making people feel like you're not alone. So maybe I'll try to get more vlogs out. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Okay, bye.